All right, guys, welcome to Tabletop Ready Miniatures. Um, and welcome back, those of you who are subscribers. Uh, so, one, it's been a while. Uh, I have po I know if you guys follow us on Instagram, which I recommend, we do post our commissions there. So we did a couple of commissions, one for Kettner again, another Star Wars Legion. And then we did an, uh, a World War II commission. It was a lot of fun. Uh, 120, 120 infantry miniatures, 60 Germans, 60 Americans. It was a really fun um, project. Uh, basic color schemes. Uh, you can, like I said, you can go on to our Instagram account, Tabletop Ready Miniatures, um, and you can see uh, that uh, commission. You can see the pictures on how it turned out. It turned out really well. Um, and that's one of the things we specialize in: large, uh, grinding miniatures painting. Hey, okay, we'll do it for you. So uh, I wanted. This is um, a video. It's going to be a little teaser slash what we're doing. So real quick. Um, I want to go ahead and show you what we've been up to. Um, so the studio armies, we have, uh, for those of you who don't know, we have an Adeptus Mechanicus studio army, and we have a um, Stormcast Eternal studio army that we've been uh, working on. So uh, we're adding some reinforcements to those. I'm going to go ahead and show you those. So, for the Stormcast Eternal, uh, let's back up here. So, right here you, we have, so we're doing a shooty, a shooty army. So, first up, uh, we have the Lord Ordinator. Uh, and this is to give our uh, ballistas, which in our 2,000 point army we're going to have four. This will give our ballistas um, the plus one to hit. We're going to have, we have a knight. Um, we're going to turn him into the knight venator, um, mainly for that sweet, sweet, sweet alpha strike. Um, so that'll be fun. Uh, just kind of another general. We have one uh, Vanguard Raptor unit uh, with long strikes. So we're planning on doing um, two more units uh, one more of long strike and i think one of hurricane bolters i'm not quite sure and then like i said we have two um ballistas and we're gonna have four total for the age of sigmar and then for adeptus mechanicus we had um we have uh basically two get started boxes we bought uh, we have four Castellans. We have uh, six um, of the, I don't remember what they're called, servitor Servitors, the big ones on the tracks. So we have enough troops. Um, and now remember, this is not, we, we don't make our studio armies ultra competitive. The, these are fun studio armies with a, a wide range of miniatures. So like I said, we have uh, two um, walker tanks, the crab tanks. Uh, like I said, we have Castellans, we have the tracked uh, troops, plus some Rangers, plus some of the, uh, whatever they're called, Vanguard. So I wanted to add some close combat. We have plenty of shooting, and I know um, I know that they're not super amazing at close combat, but I wanted to add some. So we got two boxes of Adeptus Mechanicus Electro Priests. Um, so that'll give us a, a nice unit of 10 Electro Priests. And then we have um, some Iron Striders. And now we're going to turn these into the close combat kind. Um, and then, that, like I said, we'll see how they... I heard those are really fun. They're kind of like a glass cannon. So we'll have three of them. I was going to just do two, but everyone, that I, everything that I read said you need three to, three to six. So we got the bare minimum three. So anyway, so these are our new Studio Army uh, additions. That'll bring... Um, Adeptus Mechanicus, that'll bring them easily over 1500 points um up to, up to close to 1750 uh we will eventually hopefully uh, we're going to get a knight for for them and then that easily puts with the uh, stormcast eternals that brings us up to uh, 2000 point army now uh, the way i have them it's going to be a, a sh kind of like a castle shooting ranged magic um uh, 
army. So like I said, you'll have the four ballistas, you're going to have Vanguard Raptors, um, then you're going to have, you know, uh, the Ordinator and the Venator to, to really help with the shooting. And then you'll have, we'll have, you know, our basic battle line, Liberators and, um, what are they called? Uh, the Sequators, um, to kind of just, they'll just be the meat shields. They'll, they'll sit in front and keep everything away from them. And then also, oh, also, um, that, uh, in the army list that I'm looking at, I want to put in the Comet of Sigmar. Because it's like 36 inch range. So it's just, it's, it's ridiculous. So the... I mean, the Raptors will have a 30-inch range. The Ballistas will have a 30, 30 or 36-inch range. And then you'll have a 36-inch range for the Comet. So it's like you literally turn one, you're reaching across the board. And then, like I said, you bubble wrap all of them with uh, Liberators and Sequators to keep them from getting charged for turn one. And you just, you just unleash uh, ranged destruction so anyway so that's a, a quick update and then i did want to show um and we'll, like i said we'll talk about it later but i wanted to show you guys uh the biggest news the thing that we've been working on and that's been crazy so let's start So back there's our studio armies. And this will be filled with uh, other product. So, um, like I said, as, we'll, I'll, I'll talk to you guys later about it. We'll do a whole video. Um, but Tabletop Ready Miniatures, um, we've started a, a, a very small um, tabletop uh, store. So we'll have a, an online store and a physical store uh, at the location that we are in. Um, we're going to hold Games Workshop, um, and we'll have uh, some Fantasy Flight. It's it's basically all tabletop games. So we're not going to have board games or collectible card games. So anyway, so like I said, exciting. We're super excited. We put in a ton of work this last month to get this thing up and running. Our grand opening will be soon. Um, so like I said, uh, follow us on uh subscribe if you're watching this on youtube uh you can uh, follow us on facebook twitter instagram i'm not a big twitter guy personally but facebook and instagram we do a ton of stuff on and then like i said you can visit our our store or our website which is now really uh, going to be a, a storefront uh that we still offer painting and assembly services it's that's not going to change we just now have uh, a store as well. This will allow us to provide better provide for miniatures, and uh, it'll provide better service for the customers. So anyway, you can visit us at tabletopreneurminiatures.com. So thanks for watching. I know it's kind of longer than I was planning, but uh, anyway, so we're excited for the new additions to our studio armies. We're hoping to get more games in and battle battle reports uh, for you guys to see. Uh, we'll we'll be doing some you know episodes uh some videos of people coming in and playing in the store so we'll have more content so there you go uh thanks for watching we'll catch you guys next time